Hey everyone, it's Sarah at Repeat Crafter Me, and we are already on the third square in our Under the Sea Crochet Along, and look who we have here, an adorable jellyfish. I just love the way this one turned out. I am using Red Heart Super Saver yarn. Um, I'm using these two different colors. So the main color I'm using is Aruba Sea, which is a perfect fit for our theme here, our Under the Sea theme. And this is color Jade. Uh, now you could do the jellyfish in all, all in one color uh, if you prefer, up to you. Uh, so let's just get started. Uh, I obviously already have one done and I do plan on um, putting the one we make on camera on the back side so my blanket will be reversible, but you can leave the back side blank and I will show you how to stitch that on without um, having your your ends and things coming through the back side. So I've already actually filmed that, so when you get to the end, that is what you're gonna be seeing in this video. All right, let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna do the head first. So grab that Aruba C yarn. I can find, oh no, where's the end? I don't know where the end is that I was working on here. So let's get that, okay. So this is gonna be like a half circle. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna start, I have my size H crochet hook. We're gonna start with that magic ring and we are going to chain two and we're gonna make 10 double crochets in this ring. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten okay I'm gonna pull tight and I'm not gonna join that because now we have a little half circle we're gonna be now working in rows so we're gonna chain two we're gonna turn and we're gonna work back along these stitches so we're gonna make a double crochet in the first stitch two double crochets all in that next double crochet and then two double crochets we're just repeating that so one double crochet two double crochets one one two one and I think I have one more stitch down there two in the last Okay, chain two, turn, let's work back along the edge again. We're gonna make a double crochet in those first two stitches and then two double crochets all in one. So we're basically just increasing here as we go. So one, another one of those double crochets and then two double crochets all in one stitch. Double crochet, double crochet, two double crochets, double crochet, double crochet, and two double crochets. Okay, I think we're at the end here. We just finish on those two double crochets. All in one stitch, we chain two and we turn. Now we're going to double crochet in the first three stitches and then make two double crochets all in one stitch. So one, two, three, two double crochets. One, Three, two double crochets. One, two, three, two double crochets. One, two, three, and two double crochets. 
get into that stitch there. Okay, let's chain two, let's turn, let's increase again. So I hope you guys can see that. All right. So we're going to make a double crochet in the first four. And then two double crochets all in the next. Very repetitive pattern. One, two, three, four, and then two double crochets. One, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four, one, and two. Okay, look at that. Look at our little half circle there. Okay. Now we are not going to turn. You can go ahead and chain one if you want. We are going to be working along the bottom edge now. We want 20 single crochet stitches along the bottom. Um, so just do the best you can. I think of it this way. Here's your middle point. So you're basically going to want kind of 10 on this side, 10 on that side. And I usually do two in the middle. So I end up with like 11 up to there. And you might have to rip it out. Let's see how this goes. One, two, Four, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm going to reach over to the middle. Ten. And then we're basically working back. So eleven. So I did two in the middle. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty in the last one chain one turn now we're just going to single crochet in those 20 stitches Okay, we're going to chain one, we're going to turn again, and this is where we're going to make those scallops. You're going to make four scallop stitches, just kind of for the bottom of our jellyfish. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to, um, we're going to skip a stitch, and we're going to go ahead and, I want to, I want to skip, well, so basically I'm skipping on the first one, I'm skipping that and I'm going into kind of that third stitch there. I'm going to be making six double crochets. Three, four, five, six, eh. six. And we're going to skip over two stitches and go into the next. Now we're going to skip over a stitch, go into that next one, six double crochets. All in one stitch, skip over one, two, go into that next. So you should now be right about at the middle. Okay, skip over stitch, one, two, three, four, five, six, skip over two stitches, slip stitch to join to the next, and let's make our last one, I'm skipping over a stitch. Six double crochets, two, three, four, five, six, 
six. And now I'm just skipping over the remaining stitches. You may have two, you may have one. And just joining to the end there with a slip stitch. Okay, look how cute that turned out. Okay, leave a long tail because you're, we're gonna use that to stitch it down to our um, bubble square. Oh, I forgot to mention that. You should already have your bubble square done. This was in um, the first video I did for this crochet along, so I will leave the link to that. Uh, you are never behind. You can start on this at any time and you can make all 12 or 15 if you wanna do our bonus squares um, all at once. You can make all your bubble squares. Okay, so we have the head of our jellyfish. I'm just gonna actually stitch this down because this is where, this is was our starting loose tail there. This is where I wanna um, make our little smile. So let's get rid of that. Okay, this is our front because this is the top front of the stitches. Just looks better that way. I'm just gonna grab a strand of black yarn and my tapestry needle, and I'm gonna place that smile just right over here. So I'm just gonna come into this stitch, down through that middle, that starting stitch there that we did for the head, back up and back down. And you should have do to do a cute little smile. Now you can go ahead. Oh, if I can get my tapestry needle out, I just usually knot it <laughs> a few times because this is the back side. It's going to be sewn down, and you're not going to see it. Okay, you might. You can weave it in if you'd like, or just knot it a few more times than what I just did. For the sake of time, I'm doing that. Okay, we have our smile. Now we have our adorable cartoon eyes. I love these. I actually have a separate video tutorial for that. Um, these are the smaller size of the cartoon eyes. Let's just go ahead and do one on camera so you don't have to switch over to another video. Um, I think this is, what do I have here, an F hook? You can use an F or a G hook. You're gonna wanna size down for this. You're gonna start with your black yarn and we're gonna go ahead and make a magic ring and six single crochets in the ring to start our little eyeball there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I'm gonna pull tight. Now you're using a smaller hook and you're still using that worsted weight yarn, so just try and get your hook in there. It's gonna be a little tight. Now I'm switching to this darker jade color, blue turquoise yarn. Oh gosh, I really did a good job of clipping the ends off. Now I can't find the end. All right, let's see, I think I got it. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and join in this color. This is like our eye color. It can be any color you'd like actually. Eee, it's really tight. Here we go. And we're going to make two. We're going to chain one because we just joined it in. And we're going to make two single crochets in each stitch around. So you should have 12 single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Okay, pull everything tight. We're gonna join to that first single crochet with, let me just fasten off these colors. Oh. With our white yarn. Okay, so let me grab the end of that. And for this, we're just gonna single crochet in each stitch around. Now you see how kind of tight the stitches are on this? So sometimes I make an extra stitch. We'll see if I need one. Okay, so we joined in our white. Chain one, and make a single crochet in each stitch. So one, two, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Now you could join, or sometimes I just like to cheat and make a little extra stitch right there, just so it doesn't curl up on me. All right, so I'm going to try and join this in. Ooh, all right. You're going to pull tight. You're going to weave in these ends. Actually leave a long tail on your on the white because that's what's going to be your strand to stitch it onto the head. But first we want to make that little eye sparkle. So normally I would I would weave all these ends in first or you could knot them. It's going to be facing down. But I take the little end here, my little white loose end, and I am going to kind of work over where that join is and come back down for that little eye sparkle. You can do it once or twice. How cute is this? Just love these little cartoon eyes. I use them for so many projects. All right, so there's one. Again, you're gonna wanna either knot these or weave them in. Leave the long tail for the white, and then you're gonna stitch them. You're gonna make a second eye, and you're gonna stitch them down to the head on either side of your little mouth. All right, now, just for the last part, we're gonna make the tentacles. I'm making five of them. I made three in this jade color, um, and then two in the Aruba Sea. You could make them all in the darker. You could make your jellyfish one color, whatever you want to do. I'm just going to do one on camera here. Um, this got tangled. We'll start with our, we'll do our darker color one. Really, really simple. All you're going to do is, I'm making a slip knot onto my hook. I'm back to using my H hook and I'm going to chain 26. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six. Now in the one, two, third chain from hook, I'm gonna make a single crochet. And all I'm gonna do is single crochet in the rest of these chains to make the to make our jellyfish legs, tentacles, I think they're called tentacles, sea arms, <laughs> they're just so cute. And the great thing about this is when you stitch it on, you can kind of just lay them out and manipulate them to have whatever curves you want. Okay, and you could make more than five I don't know, I thought five was a good number. Probably don't wanna do eight because then they're gonna think your jellyfish is an octopus. That's another creature we'll be doing um, for our crochet along. All right, leave a long tail. And here's your first tentacle. And like I said, we can do five of them. And then, you know, as you're stitching it down, kind of curve it you can make them straight a little wavy a little curly at the end however you want to stitch it down you're gonna stitch it down along either side um, using that long strand in your tapestry needle like I said I already filmed how I stitched this down and how I left the back so nice um, I'm actually planning on putting this one on the back side um, but you could leave it blank if you want and uh, stay tuned for that part I hope you enjoy this pattern is on repeatcraftermecom Okay, so here's the trick to stitching the jellyfish tentacles down. You're gonna first um, stitch the head, just this top part down, so you know where that placement is gonna be. I left the tail still attached because we're gonna go back and you can either, you can leave the little scallops kind of facing up if you want and just stitch this down at the end, or you can come down here and stitch the whole thing down 
after you have the tentacles. So leave this open. As you can tell, I have this part um, secured. And then I'm taking each of the strands here, the tentacles, and I'm very carefully um, just kind of putting them down where I want them to go and working under both edges and then through the middle of the stitches of um, our bubble square because I'll show you in a minute so I'm just taking my tapestry needle and I'm just working kind of in between those stitches not all the way through to the other side and then back up because what happens is you have a very clean back side to stitch the other one down or just leave it plain all right and then once this is secure, let's see if I can, you actually can just leave both of those little ends and I just tie them because they're gonna be underneath the head. So if you knot it a couple times, it doesn't really matter. It kind of saves you a little bit of time. Um, this is gonna be the most tedious part of this project. I'm just gonna kind of cut this off. Okay, so then I take the next one. I'm gonna set it here. This one, I kind of want it to curve down this way maybe. Let's set the other one in place. And that one will probably curve that way. It's gonna be so cute. All right, so let's take the end of this. Okay, so let's see. I think I want it to just kind of curve. Curve it any way you want. I'm gonna try and just hold it in place as best I can. And again, just work under the edges of those stitches through your bubble square and back along the edge. Take your time. It's definitely worth it. At least I think so. Unless you have other plans for the back side, like maybe you're putting a fleece back on it. Um, if that's the case, go ahead and stitch all the way through and make it as messy as you want on the back side. Um, if not, I think this is the way to go. And honestly, when you kind of go slower like this, you can just make sure Everything is set the way you like it. And that's basically my tip. Let's look at the back side. See? And these are all secure. And again, when I'm done with my last little leg there, I will finish stitching the head down.